Okay, so battle report. We got 2,200 points of Tomb Kings versus Lizards. Totally forgot to start doing this until we were already at the bottom of round one. So here we go. Belts uh, that I rolled on my slan were Tempest, Arcane Unforging, Walk Between Worlds, and Fiery Convocation. Yes, I got that off in round one. Spells that he picked were. Speed of Light, Briona's Time Warp, that guy, and that one. Foreign languages are hell, aren't they? Foreign languages are hell. Uh, first, his first turn, he moved up these sneaky monstrous cavalry guys that I don't much care for. He's got a big block of skeletons there that I uh, took out a little bit of with my Fiery Convocation. Uh, he's got a BSB and a Mage and a King in there. Those guys, the Pumpkin King is about to settle my hash. Some skeletons, a couple of not so nice things back there that fire all kinds of death on me. Chariots, and on my side, I've got two units of Pterodon Riders. Oh, I almost forgot these. He's got some skellies on horses. Oh, I think you folks. I've got a uh, cold one rider unit. Got two uh, Scar Vets in there. He's got me kind of tar pitted right now, so they're just kind of sitting still. Bastilladon, got some shooty shooty on there, gonna try to fry him up. What is this, turn two? Is turn. Got some lizardmen yeah, here. Slan, that's ethereal. Skinks, For you skinks, horrible. skinks. First round at the bottom, it's pretty much all that happened is that fiery convocation. Did a couple of wounds with my skinks over there. And he made me try to run away with these guys. They recovered and turned back around. So that is the bottom of round one. Okay, so we're at bottom of two now. Remember that skink unit that was over there? Yeah, he charged it and killed it all, doing really bad things. I was able to take out one of his guys, though, so, you know, silver lining. Uh, over here, continued to take out one or two models from that skeleton unit. Over here, we got into some combat. Uh, went pretty much as expected. Lizards took a bunch of wounds. He took a bunch of wounds. Some crumbling went on, and that's where it stands now. Uh, Bastilladon failed the charge trying to get in there. Uh, these skinks here still kind of hanging out. They did some shooting, and I think that's all. Over here, maneuvered to get around that uh, cavalry unit, which just kind of sat there blocking me. And over there, those, uh, those pterodons failed to do a damn thing. Not a single one of their rocks hit. Uh, all right, that's round two. Okay, so we're now at the end of bottom of three. Things didn't go so well. We still got these snakes here. They're just kind of hanging out there, ready to make some moves here. Over here, he brought his cavalry up. I moved my Bastilladon to block. But the real bad news is you'll notice this great big spot in the middle where there was a bunch of crap. Yeah, I misfired, or excuse me, uh, I, I, I double sixed my, uh, my slan. Rolled bad, he's gone. So that didn't turn out so well. Uh, this unit here wiped out my great big Saurus unit, overran, so they're about to charge into those guys, I'm sure, and uh, cause all kinds of havoc over there. Uh, these guys just kind of moved up, and uh, they cast a spell on those archers there, took out two of them. Likewise, my birds over there, one of them took out one of his war machines and is in combat with the other, and that back there, that uh, casket deal is in combat as well. Uh, we're just kind of leaving those pterodon riders to flow around just because it's a little bit easier for everything. But that's the end of turn three. Okay, so here we are at bottom of four. These guys, they just kind of moved over a little bit. That's about all that happened over there. Um, we did make one error uh, in, at the beginning of the game. Um, one of my priests is, was actually a level two, not a level one, so... Uh, so Alec here was gracious enough to allow me to roll another spell uh, out of beasts, and that is what happened. And indeed, that is what happened. And just using a placeholder there for that uh, mountain chimera, and uh, he's, he's going he's gonna to mess some stuff up. The skinks came over to uh, shoot at that. These skinks came up to make some shots as well. Over here, one of his uh, 
chariots oh, went away last time. Uh, the other one is still around, but that uh, magical arc thing in the background, it went kablooey, taking a couple things with them. Uh, in that fight as well, all those archers went away, and now there's just one lonely mage sitting there. Over here, um, things didn't go as well for the undead as they would have hoped. Uh, he took out one of my Scar veterans, but then I ate the rest of his unit. So all that's left there is his general and a uh, nice little sorcery dude. And that is round four in a nutshell. Okay, so here we are at the after five rounds. This is all that's left. Remember, this is the uh, that mountain chimera there. The uh, that great big battle that was right over there. It, it didn't go as well as he had hoped. Uh, the he tried to challenge. I accepted with my unit champion. Unit champion got blended, but then uh, the rest of my unit on him kind of made things bad happen. They overran into his one lonely horse that was sitting there. The skinks finished him off, so that's where they're going to end the battle. Over there, they're just kind of kind of hovering around. So here we go into six. Okay, here we go, top of six. Dice roll to see if that guy goes away. Ooh, seven, he's okay. Seven, he's going to be okay and stick around. Okay, after uh, top of six, he got to go first, so his top of six consisted of immediately dispelling Kadans. So my wonderful mountain chimera there, which is actually indicated by this guy here, went poof. No more Mountain Chimera. Instead, we've got a puny little Slan Priest there, which he, since it's a hero, promptly challenged. Made him go away. Bodmo 6, my unit here, which was a little bit stronger than this. I forgot about it until uh, until we put, started putting everything away. He went in there and blended that snake until pureed. And that was the end. Him off the table, me with not a whole lot left, but uh, enough to claim the victory for the day. Alec, thanks for the game. Oh, fun game, fun game. All right.